Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've been putting this little site together with the fantastic Divi 4 theme. Just keeps getting better and easier and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link just below this video. Today we're going to put together this large icon blurb section right here. Really easy to do, very eye catching. So let's go ahead and do it. I've got a page over here that hasn't got it on it yet, hopefully. Yep, here we are. So let's enable the visual builder, just left click. Go down to where we want to work. And let's add a new section. Going to hit a regular section. Inside that section, I'm going to have a row with two columns in it. This middle one right here, just left click. It's going to prompt me to put a module in there by standard. Divi comes with all these. But I'm going to X out of that because I just want to give our section a colored background before I do anything else. So I'm going to hit the little cog. I'm going to hit background. And I'm going to give it our blue color we've been using. Now it looks like I've got a do a bit of housekeeping there so let's just hit the save I'm going to left click and I'm going to remove just left click drag it so it's up against here so there's no margin or padding didn't want that white gap there that done now we got the blue one for the section we got the green one for the row and I'm going to click on the little black dot right here to add a module and I'm going to use this fantastic little blurb module that we've used before for my title, I'm going to say subscribe for tech tips. There it is below. I'm going to leave that dummy content in there because I really haven't got anything to put in there. You can see it barely. We'll change that in a second. I'm going to go down to image and icon. I'm going to say use icon. And because it's a sort of email subscribe, I'm going to use an email icon or envelope or something like that. There's one right there. Now it's put it in, but it's blue on blue, so you can't see it. You'll just have to take my word for it. I'll change the color on it in a minute. In fact, let's do that now so you can see. So I'm going to go over to the design tab, image and icon, icon color. There we go. You can see it. I made it orange there. Okay, what I actually want to do is I want to circle it and it puts a circle around it. If I make that orange, you won't see anything until I make that icon white again. There we go. That's kind of what we want to do. Do I want to put a border on there? I don't think so. You can put a colored border on there if you want to. I'm not going to for this. Now this is what I need to move here. The icon placement itself, I don't want it on the top. I want it right on the side here. So if we just click this drop down here, select left, it's on the left, which is good because it kind of looks like our other ones here, but I want to make it an awful lot bigger. So I'm going to use icon font size. I slide this all the way up and it gets pretty big. Now if you sliding up and it doesn't go as high as you want you can type in a value up here um, I'm going to make that even a bit bigger so I'm going to say 140 there we go I think that's going to do it now let's work on our little bit of text right here again we're on the design tab and all I'm going to do is flip that from dark to light on the text tab that's pretty good now I'm going to go down to my title text. I want to make that a little bit bigger and perhaps bold. I think I'll capitalize it as well. So title text, title font. I'm going to leave it as a regular font. Divi has got hundreds of fonts to choose from. I'm going to just leave it as it is for expediency. And let's make it bold. Let's make it uppercase. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Alignment is fine on the left. Center, no, I don't think that's going to work for me. Let's 
pull the text size just up a little bit yeah something like that's fine okay what I'm gonna do the only thing I want to do is perhaps I might want to make that slightly bigger so at the moment that's kind of aligned with the top but not the bottom I want it sort of centrally so let's go back to our icon go down a little bit to where it was icon font size take it down a little bit until it all looks like it's sort of lined up the way we want it to there we go let's save our changes save the page changes once saved let's exit the visual builder go down and take a look at what we got so there it is we've got a nice large icon it's pretty eye-catching there with a little blurb saying subscribe for tech tips and in the next video we'll go ahead and make this sign up form there we've got to use a bit of custom css to do this but it's really pretty easy so once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignertechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day